Good evening! It is Sunday, so it's the start of a whole new week. I feel like tonight is going to be a struggle at work because I'm already tired. I didn't get much sleep and I definitely am in need of some caffeine. I have three shifts in a row this week. Tonight is night one of three. I usually don't like to work three in a row, but hey, at least I'll have four days off afterwards. So. I'm looking forward to that. Got my Chipotle. I got a free burrito because I got my order wrong. I used to have to order my meal and I guess I actually put burrito instead of burrito bowl. So when I got my order and they showed me it was a burrito, I was like, oh no, I ordered a burrito bowl, but apparently I ordered a burrito. I said I would take the burrito because hey, I ain't hating on a burrito. But they went ahead and made me my burrito bowl, gave me the burrito for no extra charge and also a small bag of chips. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I am being pampered today. So now I have all this food. I also got like a sandwich at Dunkin's. It's so funny because the last time I worked, I forgot my lunch and now I have all the lunches. Good morning, it's, I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday. I am done with work for the week and I have the rest of the week off. I had yesterday off, but I slept and that was it. So I wasted a whole day. Actually no, I wouldn't say it's a waste. So I spent the whole day sleeping. It's almost 7.30 in the morning. First things first, I have to put some air in my tire. I've actually never pumped air into my tires before, but I know that the recommended PSI is like written on the side of the door and then you go to the gas station and pump some air. My main concern is going to the gas station and looking at the air machine I guess it's called and not knowing what to do because they're all different but I don't see where oh here it is in case of no where's my PSI I know it's written on the tires as well but oh, oh, oh it's right here duh it's on this side right here so let's see front tire 35 PSIs, it says. Finally found myself an air machine. I seriously went to, I think like three different gas stations. The first gas station, which is the closest one to my house, was broken. Then I went to another gas station down the road. It was too tall for me. The third one, I drove up to the air machine and there were these guys just like staring at me. And I'm like, oh heck no, I'm not gonna do this. I can't do it when there are people staring at me. So I finally found one. It is at an intersection, but at least it's better than those two guys. And it was just awkward and weird and it made me feel uncomfortable, especially since I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, let's get my air on. Okay, so I had to read the whole thing first, all the instructions, and now. Woo, it's working. Tire is all done. Let's see if my car says I still have a flat tire now. It still says I have a flat tire. I did it right, I think. Let me just take a double look at it again. I think I did it right. Maybe I didn't do it right. So young Opa came to my rescue. I YouTubed it. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, I think I did it right. I just didn't do it all the way. You, you had it. You knew what you were doing. See, this one actually has like a digital thing. It's actually probably not. Is it not working? <laughs> Try to redeem yourself now. There's no redeeming. It was a faulty machine. Yeah, whatever. We had to go to another one because Young didn't know how to work the other machine. It's the same one. <laughs> it was faulty. So this would be my sixth one. This is my sixth gas station today. Yay, it's gone. The light is gone. Yay! Now at Target to run some errands. I also have to thank young Opa for coming to my rescue. I don't get to see him too often, but I appreciate his friendship and for taking the time out of his day to come and see me. So thank you, Opa. Overcast day, but the sun's out, so it's still a nice day out. So the one thing that I take advantage of being a Floridian is the beach like since I live here I really don't go to the beach that often but today since I don't really have too much planned I thought hey why not get my tan on made it to the beach it's 
honestly a really beautiful day. It looks like there's a lot of locals here and there's a breeze coming in and because it's overcast, it's not too hot. But the sun is still out, so I'm gonna get my tan um Saturday, so it's finally the weekend. I'm currently over Stephanie's place and I slept over last night. We have plans to go to a winery today. I don't think I've been to a winery before now that I think of it. Hi! <laughs> oh, come on, come on! Oh my god, that scared me. Yeah. <laughs> the palm tree with the sunglasses. So funny. Made it to the winery. Such a cute place. Ooh. <gasps> Mango salsa. Oh, they have Jenga here. Wow. A wine kitty. A wine kitty? Yeah. It's a wine kitty. Yeah. Oh. Think about that. Hey. Hello. Do you want to come home with me? That's a no. winery and it was really good. It was really educational. I learned a lot about wine and I have a much like higher appreciation for wine. Especially for wine. Got a few bottles and we hung out for a little bit and had some wine. And now we're downtown and we're gonna have some tacos and beer. We're at Taco Dive. It's a really cute small place. Got my tacos. This is a pulled pork one, shrimp, and I just ate a steak because I was really hungry, but it's super good. Peacock crossing. Oh, I'm looking like a mess. <laughs> so it's actually Sunday and I fell asleep after my trip to the winery, so I didn't end the vlog. So I'm gonna end the vlog here now. I hope you guys had a great week and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.